Hi, this is Greg with ETX. Today I want to share with you some facts about outdoor cockroaches. There's different species and there's variations in the biology and habits of all of them, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to basically classify them in the same category. Uh, you have smoky brown, uh, palmetto brown banded, American cockroaches, and those are the most common pests that we have trouble with in Jefferson and Shelby counties. Um, Living in the Birmingham area, it's real common to have these types of pests invade your home. You're typically going to see them in warmer weather months, especially when it's hot and dry outside. However, that's not always the case because of the winters that we have here. One day it can be freezing, the next day it can be in the 60s. So from my experience, I've always had to deal with them year-round. Uh, you'll see them more in neighborhoods where there's a lot of trees. I have customers in Pelham, Hoover, Vestavia that see them regularly, but I think that homewood is the area that they're most common. And I think this is because there's so many hardwood trees and there's not many neighborhoods in homewood where all of the trees have been cut down and there's also well-established storm sewers in the area. There's just a lot of environment that supports their existence. Now this is what they look like. They can range in color from reddish brown to light brown and they can be from a half inch to two inches long as adults. They're an outdoor species and by that I mean they're not the kind of roaches that you bring home from the grocery store. They primarily live in mulch areas outside your home, flower gardens, around trees, under leaves and compost piles, anywhere it's dark and there's a lot of moisture. The way they get inside your home is through any kind of crack or open space. The most common of these are windows and doors, but they're not limited to these areas. They can gain access through ventilation holes around the house. Anywhere you have plumbing, electrical wires, they can also access cracks in the siding. You can minimize outdoor roach problems inside your home by taking these steps. Number one, seal up any kind of cracks or open spaces around your doors and windows. If you see light coming through any of these, you know that it's more than big enough for pests to gain entry inside your home. Number two, seal up any kind of cracks or holes from the outside of your home. This can be around faucets, your heat pump, or your air conditioner wiring, or you may have a hole in the siding of your home. You can use expanding foam or caulking. Don't use too much expanding foam because it'll make a mess and it just it looks unsightly and wear gloves when using it because it's extremely sticky and it's very hard to get off your hands. Number three, if you have any leaks near or underneath your home, have them repaired because roaches like moisture and this can cause a roach problem to become worse. A leak may be from plumbing or it could be from runoff from excessive rain. Outside you might have a leaky faucet or you might have a condensation line running outside and if it's possible, reroute it to where it's not puddling up right beside your home. Number four, try to keep brushes trimmed up to avoid having them in contact with your windows and keep them from touching the siding altogether if possible. Number five, move any kind of debris such as firewood or mulch away from your home. This isn't always possible, but it will help because roaches are drawn to this type of environment. So if you move it away from your home, it's less likely they'll find their way inside. Now you'll see an improvement just by doing these things. ETX Pest Management is a local company in the Birmingham area. We provide a four-step professional treatment that we call Target Guard. We're the only company in the area that provides this service. We only service certain areas, so if you want to find out more, please visit us at etxpro.com or give us a call. This is Greg. I hope this was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time.